I am so excited I get to partner with the Home Depot to turn this space into a man's tool cave for Mike for Christmas. It's a tinier space and we're gonna do as budget-friendly DIYs as we can to create a really great and workable area for him to keep all of his tools and we're gonna bring you along on the whole process. So now I'm gonna find the studs in this wall. I'm not too stressed about having exactly the studs because if not, I'll do the diagonal technique where you put your brad nailer in and you just go this way and this way and so the nails cross over so it prevents the boards from popping out. But I'm still gonna look for the studs to see if I can keep like a consistent line and where I'm gonna put the brad nails. And this is where we're gonna put those lumber boards up and just make rustic um, plank wall just to kind of add a differential look to the space. I'm getting started on putting up these planks. A couple of things that I'm doing up in here. Number one, I'm finding, of course, where the studs are because I'd like the planks to go in the studs as much as possible. And then once I found two points of my studs, I'm using my level or my straight edge to make a line and I'll keep going down this wall so that I can detect that. Something else to consider is when you're finding your studs, you wanna also mark, um, like I'm marking on the ceiling because eventually this wall is gonna be complete, but I'm gonna need to know where the studs are in comparison to put up the cabinets. And so even though I'll kind of know where they are because of where the nails are, I'm just gonna make sure I'm marking them there. Okay, Mikey, my college boy, what's up? Came to help me. Tell me the idea with this, this chalk line. Yeah, so this chalk line is just so we can have a perfectly vertical edge. Yeah. No need in using a measure or a level because, well, the weight of gravity makes it perfectly level. So. Yeah, and these are inexpensive. They have them on homedepot.com or you can go into the store and ask an associate, but this is really, really great. And once we put up the chalk line, flicked it, mm -hmm. and then once you flick it, there's the line. So I went and got my hair cut and came home and Mikey has been working so hard and slaying it, it looks awesome. And now we're gonna install these lights and I had picked three, but they're bigger than what we thought, huh? Yeah, a little so bit. So we might just do two. I say three, Mikey says two. Or one. Or one, or none. I think these are dang cool looking lights. See, like this. Oh uh, yeah, I can see three. And two, three. Yeah. That's it's a statement piece. Mm -hmm. Oh, get the nail. Would you like it? So this here is two fingers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe an inch more. Yeah. Just so an five inch. and a half, so six and a half. <laughs> Throw one there and one there. But that's a beautiful $75 light. I was able to put this cabinet together by myself. It is not hard. Then we're gonna mount this piece. It literally hooks in. It's a great little setup. Mm -hmm. It's just so easy to put on. I can't believe, I, would, I was stressed about putting up the cabinet. I had no idea it could be that easy. I was really intimidated by that. It was not hard. We installed those pieces and you saw you literally just pop 
And that is strong. Doing the honors, Jojo and Mikey. The boys were rock stars helping me with this project. To surprise Mike. I'm so excited to show Mike this project. Someone's about ready to get his own work area. I had these wall control pieces from the Home Depot, but I also bought these shelves from the Home Depot. And we were trying to decide what would look best here. And Alan had this idea. Uh, so I'll take these, peg, these metal pegboard style and hang them vertically to the wall and then put some of the longer peg attachments. And it's a great place to hang, uh, like coil up your extension cords, right. you compressor hoses, the right. cumbersome things you don't want to occupy shelf space with and yeah. can become messy. I think to the side and out and of the way is a great idea. I thought that was such a brilliant idea. So now we had this plan of putting them up here, but we're going to pause. We're just going to put up the shelves and then I think that's a perfect place on these back ends to put the long extension cords and things like down is just This came in a two pack and it just comes with this metal base. So we just slid this on. Easy. I'm so excited. I pulled out some of his old tools, the tools he's getting as a gift. I love this. He loves Ford. <laughs> that was at the Home Depot too. My brother and my boys have all helped me. I'm so excited. This guy deserves this. He's worked hard and he's always made other spaces in our home for us and so I cannot wait to give this gift to him.